So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and if you're completely new to this channel do like the video and do hype the video so that you don't miss any update so let's come over here and the first thing you have to do is just open the cloud console incognito window now here you can clearly see that it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction now just stay tuned and for other pre-assessment skill badges, you can always check the playlist and description box. Now wait for it to get completed. Now here you have to simply click on I understand. Now it's taking again some time. Do not worry, we'll cover each thing step by step so that you are able to understand also and complete the lab without any issue. Now here is our cloud console live page and here you may get one kind of pop-up here you have to just click on I agree and then just click on agree and continue this is the first step we have to do once this step is completed we have to just activate our cloud shell so just click on this button next to the Gemini icon to activate the cloud shell and here we are activating the cloud shell so just stay tuned and here what you need to do, you need to click on continue and then just authorize yourself. It may take some time, do not worry about it. It's Now click on continue. Now click on continue and then just authorize yourself. It will take some time, do not worry about it. We are covering each step one by one. So now here also it's done. Now the first thing we'll do, first of all, if I, you want to increase the font size, you can click on the gear icon and increase the font size like this. And now, let's come to the lab instruction and there we'll cover each step one by one. So here our cloud shell is successfully now ready. Now the next thing we have to do is just come over here and come to the task number one or setup and requirements. From there, just scroll down. And first thing we'll just install the ADK component. So just copy it from here, paste over here and simply hit enter. It will again take some time, so wait for it. Now we'll be pasting the second command over here. So just copy this one and paste over here like this and hit enter. To paste we are using control V, okay. So once it is pasted it will take some time, so wait for it. Once all these things are done, the next step which you have to do is just on the search box just type AI applications. We will be opening the AI applications, creating the application and data store over here. So if your internet is slow, it may take time to load over here. So just wait and just try again. Do not worry about it, each thing will be covered in this video. Make sure you hype the video and subscribe the channel. And if you need any other lab, just comment down below. I'll try my best if it is accessible to me. Now here you can see the AI applications option. You have to just click on the first option. Okay, just click on the first option and then just wait. Now the first thing you have to click on this button to enable the APIs and settings. It will again take some time, so wait for it. So finally here you can see that the successfully enabled all the APIs okay and now we are ready for creating the data store and apps over here so just stay tuned and now here first thing we'll do first of all we'll go to the data store and set up the data store from here okay so here it's the app we have to create it second time okay after we create the data store then we have to use the app creation so just come to the data store over here like this and after that you come to the data store page it will again take some time so stay tuned now here click on create data store once you click on create data store here we have to just select cloud storage now from here you can see we have to select unstructured and from here just click on the file option and whatever I am selecting, you have to select the same thing. Okay, so just select the bucket and just select it like this. All things are correct over here. Cross verify from the lab instructions. Once you have verified all the data, then you have to simply check for the next step. Okay, 
you can see we have selected the unstructured data also and all things are correct now simply click on the configuration make sure the location is as per the lab instruction and now we'll just change the name over here now just click on it and just you have to select this from the drop down so just update the layout and then you have to check enable all these two things first of all enable the first checkbox and the second is present below over here you can see here that include just in the document checking section click on it and click on continue now once you click on continue it will take some time and then we have to click on create it will again take some time meanwhile do hype the video and do subscribe the channel and if you have any query also regarding the arcade program or if you want to participate in the arcade program then also you can check the playlist courses or in the description i have shared multiple videos now here our data store is successfully now ready you can clearly see the data store is ready come to the app section and now we'll be creating a new app so for the app you need to come over here and click on create new app it will again take some time for the app to fully load now here we have to just click on this app okay now here you can see the details are mentioned over here copy carefully just paste it okay just paste it carefully while pasting make sure there is no any extra space or dot so that you are not getting any error over here now copy the display name over here from the lab instruction just copy the name carefully paste over here all things are done now here once you have done all these things click on continue now select the data store which we have created just now okay just now we created i hope you remember now after that you have to click on create and it will take few seconds so just update and the app will be created within few minutes or even seconds also so just stay tuned okay Now simply click on the app section and from here you can see the id is here this id will be required first thing just open a online notepad or your personal notepad from your system there we have to modify some of the uh, some of the commands okay so for that here just come over here and just copy this paste over here carefully and here it's showing id we'll find the id it's again on the app section when you come over here just select entire content copy it and just replace the your id section do not replace any other thing copy all the things carefully use control a to select entire content okay then control c to just copy and then in the cloud shell come over here and just hit enter if you are unable to see first of all then just paste over here and again hit enter now it has just done its task now just run the next command over here and we will be simply checking the score for task number two and if you are able to get score it's well and good and if you're not just wait for some time now we are in the task three so just run the first command over here and then run the second query and then third query and just paste over here so here we have to debug our agent over here you can see we are getting this kind of error so how to fix it do not worry we are covering each and everything step by step so let me show you how you can fix it so here you can see the open editor option you have to open the editor we have to basically modify those files over here so wait for the editor to get open i know the video may be a little bit lengthy but i want to make sure that you are understanding also and are able to complete the lab if i just increase the speed this lab can easily be done within three minutes two minutes or even eight minutes also but i want you to just understand how we are changing the files how we are changing everything without any tricks so here the editor is just opening so wait for it so finally the editor has been successfully opened now just select this one open the folder now from here you can see multiple files are here just click on this file and then here we have to just come to the downside and from here let me see just come over here and hit enter and in the description box i've shared this github repo copy the command from here paste it and just save it but here one thing you need to understand that here we have to modify also something so here let me tell you what we need to modify 
first of all come over here and wait for few seconds until the file gets saved and here you can see we have to just update this thing okay we have to update it so how we'll do it first you have to just come over here and just wait a second replace it and then in the next step you have to just save the file over here so once you have done this just open the editor uh, open the terminal sorry and after that you have to just come over here and run this command okay you can see here this command we have to run and let's see whether we get any error or not so let's run it And here it's showing hello now type the next prompt and here you can see it working little bit so finally here you can see we have done this particular task if you try to check the score you can see we are not getting the score instantly so I think we should wait for some more time and try again after some time to check the score or you can do one thing okay you can do one thing just come over here and just see this thing okay so here just paste it like this again paste it like this okay just paste all the things one by one let me increase the font size so that we are able to complete it just paste each one by one so here we are debugging also if we face any steps error that's why you need to understand each and everything slowly slowly now here this thing is also done now if you try to check the score you'll definitely get the score do not worry about it it may take some time do not worry but you'll definitely get the score if you have followed the way which I have done so let's see and as you can see we have got the score after doing it now just type exit and hit enter once you get the score type exit and hit enter now finally this step is successfully done now if you want to just run the web command here we'll just running the web command to just initiate the web app there we have to just click on this URL and then we'll run some of the prompts over there so just stay tuned and follow carefully so that you are not missed with anything whatever we do in this lab I showed you how you can just make mistakes also and how you can get it corrected so this is the best part of step by step guide so let's cover the next step over here and here from the select an agent just select the paint agent now for the prompt how will you find the prompt for the prompt you need to come to the lab instructions and from here just copy the U section one by one and hit enter just keep querying all the So here we have to just run each prompt one by one okay do not worry about it it may take some time so here we have got the output now it's time to run the third prompt copy carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot so just keep running one by one now the next query again next query okay so you have to run till the end okay Now the last query is here and hit enter so finally we are done now let's check the score if you are able to get the score then only in the terminal it may take time to update the score do not worry about it and if you face any issue we will debug it together so first of all let's see whether we get score or not so finally we got the score now we will be deploying the agent so first of all change the directory over here first press ctrl and c together and then from here you can see 
to just shut down the server we have to press ctrl c now just change the directory and once you have changed the directory again come over here copy this and here paste over here if you paste directly you will get error so just wait properly wait properly we have to add a bucket over here we have missed the bucket so come over here paste it and make sure the space is maintained as i have done now from here you can see from gs a, a g is missed so you have to just make sure the bucket is there is not any extra space or anything missing now just select entire content paste over here and hit enter now it will take some time here you can see the work is being done it will take some time and after that we'll move forward to the next step it may take four to five minutes so wait for it now here you can clearly see that the task has been completed now from here the first thing you need to do is that you need to just copy this thing over here from here to here okay just copy it carefully and just drag your mouse cursor and once you see the clipboard icon copy it from here and here you need to just go to your open editor option from there you can see the this option okay chain lit ui app.py come down over here and here you'll see your agent resource name so just paste over here like this and then just paste over here and once you have pasted all the thing okay then just save it and after that open the terminal okay open the terminal and let's see whether we are able to just deploy it or not so for deploying the agent we have done this task now the next thing is that we have to just query it okay how to query it so for querying it you need to just first of all run the ui over here so just try to run it and here sometimes what happens we get some kind of error and in that case how we have to fix it do not worry about it as you can see i got this kind of error and i am not removing it as a part of this video if you run again you will again get this kind of error so this is a line error okay just come above using the mouse wheel if you want to just copy the code over here just come above and here is our project so just again copy the project from here just carefully drag your mouse cursor from here to here sometimes what happens due to the files are not properly saved open the same app.py file in the chainlit ui okay so just replace it carefully carefully replace it okay carefully replace it again wait a second let me do control z to just revert the changes and just paste it like this now just save it okay now let's try to rerun the command again sometimes the files does not get saved automatically in that cases we face some kind of issues so we have to resave the file and try again now here you can see our app is live now we have to open this over here and here only the app will be live we have to run each query one by one so just stay tuned and just follow as i am doing whatever i am running you have to run from here okay like we did previously you have to run each query and once you see the output you can try for checking the score but you need to run all query one by one so let's run each query one by one Just simply run each query one by one on the prompt okay you have to run each query one by one and after some time you'll be able to see the output from the agent itself so after that we'll just test the score so here you can see we have got the agent output so if you try to check the score if you are getting score then it's well and good else just run each query one by one till the end and wait for the score to get generated so here you can see i am just generating all the query and here we are just towards the last two queries and one last query is here but i checked the score previously only and as you can see i got the score so if you are not getting score just wait and run each query and that's the way we have to complete the lab do like the video subscribe the channel and hide the video thank you guys have a great day ahead do check the master sheet in the description and here we claim the skill badge